Hi guys, I have something to show you. This is a little shorty video inspired by Tom Lipton. Uh, that'd be Ox Tool on his recent post uh, on welding style countersinks. Uh, when I finished my tool and die apprenticeship, I was working in a in a uh, shop primarily building metal stamping dies. We did pretty much all types of dies, you know, forming, drawing, bending, piercing, so forth. Uh, both both in uh, in manual and progressive tooling. Most dies have uh, spring pockets, as you know, and um, they're basically just blind holes, uh, blind holes with a flat bottom on them. Most of these spring pockets are in the one and a half to two and a half diameter range. To uh, remove the sharp edge around the top, we usually just use the uh, a, a drill and put a chamfer on there, which was kind of a hassle. So I made these two welding style countersinks, which uh, cover most most of the common sizes. You know, I thought this would be fun to show because uh, of all the homemade tools that you find, um, I think this one is kind of uncommon. <clears throat> The large one here, which still has the the arbor or the mandrel in it, uh, I guess I'd call it an arbor. Um, the arbor is held on in by a little set screw, and you can pull that arbor out and then put it in this other one, so that each one doesn't have its own uh, mandrel. And um, the, the mandrel was, uh, looks like I centered around that. I did have access to a center grinder and I ground uh, three flats uh, up the shank uh, so it wouldn't spin in a drill chuck. Um, yeah, so the, the only uh, thing that would make this difficult uh, for the average person would be uh, uh, putting the relief on the edge and I think Tom Lipton did uh, address that. Um, I did have access to a uh, spin fixture was, that was made specifically for sharpening these and um, it's uh, if you can visualize it it looks kind of like a whirly jig or a, a harding head and um, but when you rotate it it cams forward and then snaps back uh, when it gets to the desired point. Um, so it puts a radial relief all the way around until it gets to the cutting lip and then it snaps back uh, so that it doesn't relieve the cutting edge. Okay, so I've made a little diagram here I wanted to show you. This is the way these spring pockets look in a, a typical die. You'd have a top shoe and a, a stripper plate over here, if I can find my finger. And uh, the red here is um, the way the spring fits into the little pockets. and they're just basically round holes. This is a side view cutaway. So these are just round holes and there's the chamfer on the top and the bottom of the holes. And the way I did the uh, the sharpening of this thing is, like I say, I did have the fixture and this would be representative of the fixture here. And the green is the uh, countersink and what I did is I put it on a surface grinder and uh, at the proper angle and uh, used a, uh, a regular uh, grinding wheel and uh, address the side of the dr grinding wheel and then I use the side to, to sharpen the uh, countersink. Boy, I don't know if you can see this date. There's my name on it. Um, and the date, 1969. Boy, does the time fly. I was one year out of my apprenticeship. Okay, that's all for now. Signing off.